I, I, I got to ask you, uh, who's the most difficult artist to work with? Any Gemini. <laughs> That's why <what I'm> <laughs> any, any Gemini artist is going to be the most difficult. I mean, the difficulties that you get from artists are different based on this, the different factors and different where you are, where the stage is in their career. But Gemini's in general, Macy Gray, CeeLo Green, Andre 3000, um, those, those are, they're special, they're special talents. I'm telling you, the talent is there, but the artsy, the artistic side of them can make dealing a, a little more difficult than others. So I, I would honestly, I, w- I wouldn't, I wouldn't specify one, though they've all been a pain in my ass at some point. But so I honestly would just group all the Gemini artists who, again, if I go through them on list, they are the most talented also. But man, it, it, it's not a cakewalk. <laughs> Okay, give me an idea. Like, like you just named Macy Gray, CeeLo Green, uh, Andre 3000, who are, yo, come on, these are arguably some of the biggest talents in, in, in the yeah. history of music. Uh, yeah. when, when, when you say difficult, what are we talking? Uh, you have Let to me put it in perspective. The, I'll put it in perspective for you. I, I'll put it in perspective. I'm going to name some other artists that are Gemini's, and then you're going to kind of see the link. Mm-hmm. Lauren Hill, D'Angelo, Maxwell, um, who else was in there? Pac, I think was in there. Um, it's just the list of them. So what I like to say, D'Angelo, I said Maxwell, what I like to say about Gemini's artistically, they're amazing, but they're also, they can be very precise and they can, they get into their creatives can be like their personalities. And if they got six personalities, then you got six personalities trying to get their thoughts and ideas into that creative box. And usually they can create magic, but sometimes it can also become paralyzing. They, it take, that's why it takes so long to get some of these albums from these artists because they get in their own way. They're gonna keep their question and the double take. I might still be waiting for Dre to finish mixing Hey Ya today if I hadn't taken it from him when we like and got it and got it to LA and got out there just because we want like the 12th we call those that don't know it's like you you get a record you do it you mix it then the artist goes to listen to the mix and they hear something there's a snare missing or something so they do a recall and they have you raise the snare then they send it back they get it back now they raise the snare and it took out the flute so now they can't hear the flute so now they want to go and they want to put the flute back in and it's due to flute, they got to lower the drums a little. So they send it back in. Now your third recall, the drums feel too soft. So now your drums are off because the flute's too loud. And the sna- like, and that is what they will get into a cycle of doing. But the record was fine at the beginning. Couldn't nobody hear that chime or that flute but them. But they're perfectionists like that. So from a creative standpoint, you have to manage that. Because we can't go in and play the label a record and the label's like, press the button. The whole world's going to be behind this. We're setting release dates. Everybody go, go, go. And they're like, all right, so we need you to turn that record in in three days. And you're like, all right, got you, cool. And then you go to your client. He's like, yo, I'm doing one more recall tonight. Now, three weeks later, he's still doing recalls. Everyone's freaking out because they're, mis- they're like, yo, we said we were going to go. The whole world is waiting. And this person's tweaking some sounds that you can't tell the difference from recall number three to recall number 13. So that's the Gemini life that you can live. You know, super creative, very intelligent, quirky in each of their own different ways, but kind of harder to manage than most. Uh Yeah, wow. Um, Even as you was talking, um, I was thinking of a few Gemini artists that I worked with over the years, and I I think you might really have something with that. I never looked at it in terms of 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 their astrological signs, but you you might be on to something right there. Man, look, any any manager that's managed or executives that have dealt with a lot of artists over the years, they're gonna tell you if if they've ever put it together, they're gonna be like, it's the Gemini thing. What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.